Now let's look into the chain reaction. So consider a neutron causing fission in a uranium nucleus. Producing three neutrons, these three neutrons in, in turn may cause a fission in three uranium nuclei, it producing nine neutrons. You are able to see it here. So the nine neutron in turn may produce 27 neutrons and so on. A chain reaction is a self-propagating process in which the number of neutrons goes on multiplying rapidly almost in a geometric progression. So 1 becomes 3, 3 becomes 9, 9 becomes 27. A yeah, geometric progression. Two types of chain reactions are possible. In the uncontrolled chain reaction, the number of neutrons are multiply indefinitely. And the entire amount of energy is result in a fraction of second. This type of chain reactions take place in atom bombs. This is referred to as uncontrolled chain reactions. Over here you are able to see the controlled chain reaction. The number of fission producing a neutron is kept constant in, and it is always equal to 1. You are able to see, you will get only 1. It, this one is 3, it is uncontrolled but you will be having only 1. That is control. The reaction is sustained in a controlled manner. The control chain reaction is taking place in nuclear reactors. When a thermal neutron bombard uranium-235 nucleus, it breaks into two fission fragments and three fast neutrons. One neutron may escape and one neutron may be captured by uranium-238, which decays to Neptunium and Plutonium. One neutron is available for carrying out the chain reaction. The chain reaction is possible only when the loss of the neutron is less than the neutrons produced. When a thermal neutron bombards the uranium-235 nucleus, it breaks into two fission fragments and three fast neutrons. As you know, which is given here, uranium which decays to neptunium and plutonium.